Welcome back one more time to French King Entertainment Center. This is the final match in the Western New England Candlepin Association Pro Tour event. In this match, the top seed, Dave Dupuy, who has been waiting in the wings while the other matches have gone on, is going to face the number three seed, Ed Tringali, who just defeated Rich Bober in the semifinals. Ed, you may recall, had a 167 game in that that match. And Ed leaves the back row. 7, 8, 9, and 10. And there's a great shot by Dave Dupuy to start off this match. He converts the, notor uh, the, uh, the notorious Kaliri, 1, 2, 4, 7, 9. And he just punches that head pin back into the 9, and the ball takes out the left side. So that's a spare to start off for Dave. Ed trying to use the wood in front of the 9-10 to convert that uh, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not able to get the 7 and 8. So he'll start off with a 9. Dave Dupuy qualified top seed with a 671 in the five string qualifier. And as I mentioned, Ed Tringali had 640. Dave with a nice ball in the one two pocket, but a tough split 510 with no wood. So that's an eight fill on the spare, giving him a nine pin lead through one box. And he tries to cut the five over, but he just uh, hits it right on the nose. Oh, Ed Tringali with a nice bid on that two, four, five, seven. But he just caught it a little bit thin on the two pin and didn't get the five. Cut the two in front of the five. Dave Dupuy with a 10 box in the second. And Ed also with a 10. So Dave leads by nine. Through two boxes. Dave Dupuy, as we mentioned earlier, was the bowler of the year on the Western New England Candlepin Association Pro Tour last year, and he's off to a good start this year, having finished second in the first event uh, at Funtime Lanes a couple months ago. He finished second to Brian Mayer. So he's going to do no worse than that this time. So Dave has obviously Picked up right where he left off. Ed Tringali with a spare in the third. Dave Dupuy with a 10. Dave has 38. Ed with 29 with a spare up. Dave fires in the fourth. Nice ball on the in the pocket, but he leaves a 5-7 split this time. So he really has had some tough breaks off a couple of good head pin hits. Ed Tringali with a seven, and he has the one, nine, and ten with a piece of wood to the left or to the right of the head pin at an angle that might make it possible to make this fair. See what he can do with it. And there's a nice bid there, but just doesn't get the nine. He may have gotten a little bit too much of the head pin. Dave Dupuy with a 10, and Ed Tringali with a 9, so Dave leads 48 to 45 after 4. Dave hits a little lighter in the 1-2 pocket. Six drop. Ed with a, a nice 1-2 pocket hit. But he's got a split. He has the 8, 10, a couple pieces of wood in between. And Dave Dupuy makes the spare in the fifth. Let's see what Ed can do with this wood in between the 8 and 10. And he just caught the cap right there. And that sent the ball around the 10 pin. He was trying to go a little bit, probably a little bit left of there. Trying Try and get both. So through five, Dave Dupuy leads by.
by three and he has a spare to fill in the fifth so he can extend his lead as they switch lanes and Ed Tringali moves over to lane 14 and Dave goes to lane 13. Ed Tringali misses the head pin but a pin comes off the wall and takes out the two four seven so he's got the one and the eight that's a it's a tough lead but not uh, not impossible by any means especially with that piece of wood to the left and well in front of the eight pin but he's not able to catch the head pin. Meanwhile, Dave Dupuy with nine and another in the sixth. So Dave is leading by 12 now, 12 plus the fill ball. Entering alley on the head pin. Drops five, leaving the two, four, five, seven, eight. And there's a splash for Dave Dupuy, which results in a nine drop, and he's got the seven pin by itself. Good bid by Ed, but he just got too much of the two pin. Another spare by Dave Dupuy. You really don't want to let Dave get too far ahead because he can just run away on you. It'll be a 9 for Ed Tringali. He's got 74 through 7. Dave Dupuy with 96 plus a ball. So he's leading by 22 plus the fill ball. And Ed with a 9 drop, leaving the 5 pin. Ed Tringali. Dave has got another 9 drop, leaving the 2. So he now leads by 31. Ed Tringali really needs to make this fair. And sometimes when, when you know you really have to make a spare, just it's it's easy to steer the ball a little bit. And Ed goes by the five pin. He'll take a ten. Ed with 84 through eight. Dave Dupuy with 115 plus the fill. He adds 7 to give him 122. Ed will be open in the ninth. And so will Dave. He tried to make that 4, 5, 7. Got the tough one. Kicked the 4. Got the 4 and kicked the wood off the wall to get the 5, but the uh, 7 remains, and he's got it for a 10. So it's a, uh, a lead of 132 to 94 through 9, which means that Dave Dupuy is going to be the champion in this Western New England Candle Pin Association event at French King. So with the win, Dave will certainly take over as the in the number one spot in the Bowler of the Year standings with his second place finish in the first tournament and then the win here. Dave Dupuy with the spare in the ninth. Ed Tringali with 10. And there's the handshake. So Dave finishes up with a seven drop. That is a 149 game. And you can see he just ran away with this one after it started off close through the first four. Dave Dupuy with five spares in his last six boxes to put this 149 game together against 104 for Red Tringali. So Dave Dupuy is the winner of this Western New England Tour event at French King.